Hello beautiful people, as you can probably tell, today we are going through all of my cream liquid blushes. This drawer used to be so pretty, it had beautiful dividers and then I just ended up with too many of them. I had to just empty it all out for a thing to fit. And this is like the mess that I've kind of left it in. <laughs> so let's go through all of these. I'm going to try and be as brutal as possible. But I must admit like liquid blushes and cream blushes, even though I don't actually use them that often, I just have a bit of a weakness for. I don't understand why. But I do. I can't help it. If you've watched my recent declutters, I will leave them linked down below if you haven't. I recently decluttered like three drawers of Main Revolution palettes. After this draw, I'm going to tackle <laughs> this one in a future video. This is like mascaras, powders, concealers, brow stuff. And then eventually I'll be doing these last three drawers on this set, which is I Heart Revolution stuff. And we have like license, which is like I Heart Revolution and um, license launches and XX Revolution. And then the last draw is a bit of like XX, Rev Pro and Makeup Obsession. So <laughs> we've got a lot to get through. But in today's video, this is the one that we're tackling. Once I have tackled all of the drawers, I'm then going to do like reorganising videos and I've got like all of these really cool storage boxes that I've been waiting so long to use. I've got like four sets of these and to kind of like organise and make everything have its own little place. So um, I will be like decluttering but I won't be making this drawer look pretty at the end because I'll do that in my like organisation ones because I want to like change what's in what drawer and like rearrange it because the setup for these, like when I had my makeup room, like in a different setup, and I've changed it again, as I always do. When my mental health dips, I'm like, let's rearrange my bedroom, that'll solve all my problems. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's just get straight into it, because there is a lot, like a lot, a lot. I do know where to start. <laughs> I'm just going to grab any, and then we'll work our way through. So we have these Real Love Baby Tins, I don't know if this is going to focus. This is just what it looks like, this one still has a packaging on it. This one's in the shade Fuchsia. Yeah, I don't see me reaching for that that often. So I'll actually give that to a new home. We have these matte blushes from Rev Pro, which recently came out. I absolutely love all of these. So they will definitely be staying. Got this MUA what much it is like peach puff blushed liquid cream blush. I'm gonna actually give that one away. Oh god, hiccups in for this one, which is like the shade Razzleberry. Get rid of that one. There's another one here, Misty Rose. I haven't used them, so let's just get rid. We'll give them to a new home. And then I've got some of these like Rev stick ones, which I was keeping for work, but I actually don't really need them much for work, for content. So I'm just going to keep the ones that I like the colour of, and then the rest I'll give to a new home. So I'll give this one to a new home because I won't reach for that one. There's much. Um, I'll give this one to a new home. What else have we got? Oh, I actually really like this one. This purpley marvy one so i'll keep her and then what else do we have get rid of the bright one i'll get rid of that one i think i liked this one oh it's an MUA one so i'll get rid of that one anyway <laughs> um makeup session so i'll get rid of that one because you can't get it anymore well i'm assuming you can't get it anymore what else do we have um oh this one's a shade bare i think i really like this shade as well so i might keep i don't know if this my camera's going out of focus i don't know how to like sort it out this one um which i'll give to a new home oh my god my camera's doing my head in and then i have these blush bombs from rev which i definitely need to start using more often they're like such like a serumy lightweight formula yeah i definitely need to try to use them more so i'm gonna keep them i absolutely love the revolution super dew blushes so they will most definitely be staying i've got another one of the fast base blush sticks so that one's in the shade peach i'm gonna keep that one yeah, this one's a little bit light. This one's in the shade Baby. I think it was Baby. Yeah. So I think I'll give that one to a new home. I'm going to keep this P. Louise one basically for now. I'll see how I get on with it. But I wasn't really that impressed with the P. Louise ones, to be honest with you. I've got a couple more of these super dewy ones. These ones are super, super light. So I'm going to give these to somebody of a lighter complexion where they would show up to their true colour more. We have another one of the MUA ones, so I'll get rid of that. We've got the PS Cream Blusher in the shade Rose, which I really like, so I'm going to keep that for now. I think I probably will eventually declutter in that. Same for this Peaches and Cream one. I don't reach for it that much now, but I will probably eventually 
declutter that as well. I have a new one of like the cheek of it, like the new packaging, if my camera <laughs> would focus. Just like this. This one's the shade Sunkiss Miss. I haven't tried that one yet. I've got some more of these baby tints. I'm going to get rid of the coral one. I'm going to get rid of this one as well, which is like a deeper colour. I've got another cheek of it. I don't know if I had three of these. I thought I only had two. This one is Bon Bon Baby, which just looks like this, which is like a bit different. I'll put it next to each other. You can kind of see the difference between the two. Got another one of the blush bombs. I've not even opened this one. Let me take the packaging off so that I reach for it more often. This one's Dolly Rose, so I'm going to keep her. Then we have some blush ones, which I know I definitely need to get rid of some of these. Because, like, when am I ever going to use that as a blusher? Like, come on, Lucy. Come on now, child. So I'll get rid of that one. We've got this Huda Beauty one in the shade Coral Cutie. Definitely going to keep her. I don't think I've really played with her that much. I'm going to keep her. I think I'm going to be brave and get rid of these XX ones, which I absolutely love. Um, but again, I'm not reaching for them. So, I should just get rid of a couple. Okay, I feel like I really want this end pink one. <laughs> Maybe the peach one. I'm just going to get rid of them because they're not even coming out of the packaging properly anymore. So... Yeah, they can go. I also have these XX Revolution ones. I feel like yeah, there's another one. Four of these. I'm just going to keep the ones that I know I'll actually reach for the colour story. Because these have like a blush and a bronzer in there. Like this one's not even been touched. I'm going to give that to a new home. With somebody who has a beautiful deeper complexion. Then we have Forgive and Forget. Oh, this is one that I really like. So this one is definitely... In. then we have lock and key i think i like this one as well yeah oh you can stay as well then we have rise and fall which i'll give this one to a new home because i know i won't use that bronzer side and i don't know if that's the right color for me blushy wise a bit more like suited for deeper complexions them two that i've um put in my giveaway pile i'm obviously going to keep my little shark tilbury glowgasm this one's in the shade peach gasm i'm going to keep her and um, what else do we have i've got my vive one definitely going to keep my Lancome one which I tried in my test and Lancome video again going to keep her got my other PS cream bronzer and um, bronzer cream blusher this one's in the shade peach I don't think I've used this one yet like I think I've just literally just opened that yeah literally just opened that right now so let's keep her and give her her own little moment and like this one I can definitely give to a new home so I'm not really going to reach for that let's be serious um we have this deeper super dewy one which i'll give to a new home we have the finding nemo liquid blush the dory one i'm going to keep her we have like these pixie blush on the glow on the glow blush whatever you want to call them <laughs> whatever they're called i've got these three so we have like this deeper red one and then we have the peach one which looks like this and then we also have, I'm going to keep that one. We also have the pink one, which is beautiful. I'm going to keep actually the white blush. This is um, Milk Mix because it's really good for mixing with other blushes as well. So I'm going to keep her. Oh, I've got another one of these. Oh, this one's the peach. Do I already have this? Why have I got two of these? Oh, I'm sure I got one of these for Alex and then she already bought it. So she didn't need it anymore. Okay, well, I'll give this one that's unused to a new home. And I'll keep the one that I've already used. Okay, let's confuse them. I have this little cream one from Fenty. I'm going to keep her because I really liked her when I tried her. Then we have Rose Lust, which I'm going to give to a new home. We have um, Savage Coral, another one of the blush bomb ones. I'm going to give keep her, should I say? I was going to say got my words tied up then we also have peach filter which i'm gonna keep all three of the powerpuff girls and xx revolution blushes i think i liked all of these colors remember from when i tested them oh my god and then what else do we have we have these hydra bright um cream blushes from revolution so i'm gonna keep them mainly for like content reasons and then what else do we have i've got this one which is from colourpop which is a 
stick which i never really use that often I need to like i definitely need to play in this drawer so much more like it's insane we have where's the spf which i'm going to give to a new home definitely don't need to keep that and then what else do we have oh my god there's just so much in here oh i have a morphe one the audacious apricot one how did i end up end up with this i can't remember but that's gorgeous <laughs> she can stay Obviously, I've got all of my um, Pretty Fly cream melts from Doll, oh my god, from Doll Beauty. I've got these four here. So the first one we have is oh my god, that's tiny Dollar Day. And this one is what Dollar Day looks like. I've done a full video on these if you want to go check them out. This one is Beach Please. Then we have Let's Get Wavy. Gorge, gorge, gorge. And then the last one that we have is Costa del Dol, which is more of like a peachier colour. Again, beautiful. I really love how small and compact they are as well. We've got Sold Out, another made by Mitchell Blush. This one here. I'm going to give her to a new home. Honestly, I started like collecting made by Mitchell Blushes and then it literally just went to like a whole nother level of blushes. The same with like the P. Louise ones. I, don't know how, I do not know how people... Are, like keeping up with buying them and how they're storing them because they brought out so many like i just i couldn't keep up and i just gave up by that point i was like i can't <laughs> i literally can't so um yeah i definitely gave up with that i'm gonna get rid of this super dewy one and um, this is totally blush just because again it's just not really a shade that i'm gonna reach for that much so then we've got these super dewy ones i just put one in the bin because it was basically gone um but i'm gonna keep flushing for you and i'm gonna get rid of the bright pink ones i know again i'm just not gonna reach for it all that often i've got some of the p louise bases that i would use for blushes which is why they're in this drawer instead so we have this pink oh my god I'm dropping things this pink one which is the shade winter rose i'm gonna keep her because she's cute then we have this one here which is um radiant Ro rosewood i think it is i love that one that's so pretty then we have this one which is pretty and pink super cute then we have cute and coral this one is probably like my most used one as blusher it does not even go on this colour. It just, it's just stunning. I need to use it more often. And then we have Pretentious Peach, which again is gorge. Absolutely gorge. Then we have the Roxy Blushes. I mentioned in my video when I was going through my May Revolution um, palettes and decluttering all of them. that I obviously, I met Roxy. I was managing like the at-home content and a few aspects of her launch. So I got to meet her. She's absolutely lovely. So again, these have such a soft spot in my heart. So I'm going to keep these they're gorgeous anyway like I, I absolutely love them and the colours are so nice but even more so it's another reason why I'm like holding on to them and then we also have the um blush sticks from Revolution these like blush and highlight sticks I'm going to keep all of them we have a, another find a Nemo blush this is the Nemo one so I'm going to keep her we have the iconic London one this one's the shade Rose Riot and then what else do we have in here? I've got loads of setting sprays on this other bit. And then this side, I've got Mango Daiquiri. I don't know if I'd even use this. It's very, very orange, isn't it? Yeah, like when am I ever going to use that? Let's be serious, Lucy. No, no, Lucy, don't be daft. <laughs> Let's give her to a new home. I have this blush in Candy Trip, which looks super, super shimmery. Oh, she is gorgeous. Wow. Wow. Would I use her as a blusher? Most definitely not. So I'll put her in my drawer with all of like my other shimmery um, made by Mitchell blushes because I actually use them as like eyeshadow toppers instead of blush. I've got like drip drip and stuff in there. What else do we have? Baby tints. Got some more of these. I'm going to get rid of... I'm going to keep... No. I'm going to get rid of these, give them to a new home. Just being hardery. We have this Jouer one, which I really like that they sent me nice like autumnal shade so i'm gonna keep her and then the rest that we have are, like made by metal blushes oh these are actually really nice colors i must admit we've got um, melon sorbet peach sugar sweet treat cheeks and um, cherry cola and posy rosy if you want to buy any of the made by Mitchell blushes if you have tiktok shop where you live like if you can get it because i think it might be on a uk only i think then i would buy it on there because the absolute bargains you get is insane like compared to his website 
Let's have a little swatch. Yeah, I like her. And we have Cherry Kohler. Mm. Yeah, she's nice. I'll keep her. I might end up getting rid of her at some point. I've noticed that the I've got the bronzes of these, and I noticed that they've been leaking. I don't know if anyone else has had the same issue. I like that one. I might eventually get rid of Melon Sorbet because it looks a bit light, but I'll keep her for now. Yeah, this one looks like it's been leaking as well. This one's Sweet Cheeks. Which looks like that. Pretty. And then last but not least, we have Peached Sugar. I think probably one of like his more famous ones, like from like right at the beginning. So yeah, they're all really cute. And then I might as well do back here as well. I wasn't going to do it. I forgot these <laughs> all back here. Okay, so these are all setting sprays. I also have this one, which is the DC Mad Love Blusher um, Little Quad. I'm going to give this to a new home because it's not been used. Um, and obviously I forgot it was there. These are like old <laughs> business cards. So let me take these out. I'll give these, I'll put these somewhere else. So they're not in <laughs> my makeup drawers. And then, oh my God, what's this? This is the Solid Tan de Chanel, which I literally never, ever reach for, ever. Um, so let me put this back in my bronzer drawer. Oh, I've just put that lid on the wrong way around. Um, I actually got this given to me on my 21st birthday um, when I was leaving House of Fraser. So thoughtful. Like, even if I use it up, I don't think I'd be able to get rid of the packaging solely for that reason. Like, it was so sweet of them to do that. So I'll put her in my cream bronzer drawer. And then, oh, I don't know where to start. I'm going to get rid of this I Hat Revolution Chocolate Milk Fixing Spray. Let me have a little sniff. Yeah, she's still all right. Smells so chocolatey. I've got this Face Stockholm Wake Up Facial Spray. I've had this for ages. Yeah, it does not smell nice <laughs> at all. So I'm going to put that one in the bin. I've had that for years and years. So it's probably the best thing to do. Oh, I've got some Revlon Lash Glue. Oh, I didn't know that was in here. My lash glue just hasn't been lash gluing recently. So I'm going to try this one and see what this is like. Because it's just not been vibing. I'm getting so stressed putting lashes on recently because I'm just not good at it anyway. But when I don't have a glue that works, oh, it makes it even harder. So I'll put her in with all my eyelash glue. I think there was another one here as well. Yeah, this one. This one I got... Why do I feel like I got this with a unicorn cosmetics order? Surely I didn't. Why do I feel like I did? I had a date on the side and that date's already gone, so I'm just going to bin that because I'm not messing around with eye glue um, near my face. So I have this moisturising spray gel. Oh my god, that's just gone like full on goopy. There's no way that's going to spray. I'm going to put that in the bin. I have this Too Faced Hangover 3 in 1 Repension Primer and Setting Spray. I used to love this. We have the Elf, I feel like the lid was in here again. The Elf one from Revolution, like I Heart Revolution. And um, this is the Long Stay Fixing Spray. Let me smell her. Oh, she doesn't smell very good either. She can go on the bin because I've opened it and used it. But I'd rather be brutal than put like disgusting things on my face. Then we have the Glamour Light one. This one should totally be out of date. It still smells alright, but I'm going to get rid of it because like it's totally out of date. Like I've had that <laughs> five plus years. Isn't it crazy like that? Then we have the Monica and Rachel one, which I will keep. We like them. I don't think I can smell them. Let's just spray it in the lid. Oh, still smells amazing. I absolutely love these. Monica's not so much, so I'll get rid of hers, but Rachel still smells amazing. Then we have the Get A Grip um, setting spray from Peaches and Cream. Let me have a sniff of her. Oh, she still smells beautiful. She can stay. You made the cut. Well done. Another one of them moisturising sprays that is no longer a spray. <laughs> so that can go in the bin. Again, I've had that for years, so I'm not surprised. Then we have the Glow Mist from Pixie. Let me give this one a sniff around. Yeah, that literally is just how it smells, like just skin So that one can stay. Have the milk one, blur spray. I think I got this like from Tegan Mark, so I bet this one's gone out of date as well. <laughs> that can go on the bin. And then I got these ones from Primark, which were like, I don't even remember when they bought these out, they're like dupes of um, Max uh, Fix Plus. They also have like more dupes now of like Fix Plus and the Stay All Night Fix Plus one as well 
Oh, still smells amazing. Like absolutely unreal. Oh, and that one does as well. So I'll be able to keep them. And I'm going to actually move these with the rest of my setting sprays so that I am rotating everything. And let's put my blushes back in here that we're keeping and then the rest of them have gone, I don't know if you'll see, in this, um, in this box down here. Let's put all of the ones I'm going to keep back in. So I've got like Super Dewy, Hydra Bright. Obviously these are like the shimmery ones. I've got Made by Mitchell, Blush, Iconic, Find a Nemo, Roxy, Revolution Double Ended ones. Again, I'm not going to make this pretty because I'm going to do videos organising all of my makeup collection and these probably are going to stay in this drawer because I want them to stand up in a drawer so I'm going to keep them in this shallow one and I've got P. Louise ones and the Roxy one Doll Beauty cream ones and then what else do we have Buff ones XX Revolution Morphe XX Revolution Blush Bomb Fast Basics Nemo Vive um, Colour Pop, Pixie, Premark, Pixie, Premark, P. Louise, Mitchell, Blush Bomb, Super Dewy, um, the matte ones, Charlotte Tilbury, more of the matte ones, P. Louise, Peaches and Cream, Huda Beauty, Lancome, and then Dewy, Fenty, and another Revolution one. So this drawer has got so much better obviously bear in mind before it had stuff back here so i move it forward so it's a bit more accurate it's definitely got better but i definitely want to use my little dividers that i bought which look like this and um, these like little boxes that fit into these drawers perfectly and i want to move these to like a deeper drawer so that i can actually fit everything in standing up and i'm hoping if i can get it to stand up and it'd be like in a deeper drawer i can hoping i can put these and my cream bronzers and liquid bronzers all in one deep drawer we will see we will see but yeah that is like <laughs> me decluttering everything that i possibly could out of this drawer including obviously setting sprays as well so i've done i've done quite well i must admit um definitely some things that i think if i went through again i probably would have got rid of like a second time but I'll leave it like this for now. I won't be too hard on myself. I've literally just got rid of so many palettes. So I'm trying not to be too crazy. <laughs> but I am quite proud of this. So yeah, that is everything that is in my cream blusher drawer. Sorting it all out, decluttering. And I'll do a video obviously organising it and making it all look pretty in a future one. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will hopefully see you another one very, very soon. Please let me know if you're enjoying this. Because I actually quite enjoy decluttering whilst watching netflix and obviously once i'm filming it i can't <laughs> do that so if you aren't really enjoying these videos i'll just stop filming them and just do it in my own time but i quite enjoy watching them so hopefully you will enjoy as well but yeah love you so much thank you so much bye